I didn't want this man Oda to pull a Dragon Ball Super where people just magically appear on the same level as the protagonist with no real modicum of logic. At least Dragon Ball emphasizes training being done in some capacity. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. And now on to the main event. Give me the blue light, Rosie. Fucking thing sucks! Pronouns they slash them calls me a tard in the beginning of their argument. Okay. Then expects me to read their college thesis showing respect to them when they've given me none of the sort. Ha! <laughs> I'm not reading shit! Off with his fucking head! Ah! 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 Oh so, yeah, get that nigga out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make this clear to everybody. Crystal clear! This show sucks. On One Piece's worst day, it's never been as bad as Super, and Wano was pretty damn bad. And Dragon Ball Super, Superhero is the culmination of every bad thing in the show in a one hour and 45 minute format. Starting with the name, the name is Super Califragavicious Espetrashadocious. Redundant ass name, Super D Duper ass name, Tongue Twister ass name. You like the name so much you say it again, ass name. Movie starts off with a bullshit family tree planted in bullshit guard to introduce this grandson from nowhere, Dr. Hitler, I mean Dr. Hedo, gets talked into believing Capsule Corp and its affiliates are evil for a Bruh. genius he's pretty damn naive and stupid but if he isn't this gullible the plot can't happen remember that saying but then there'd be no story because there's a lot of them in this movie he agrees to go along with generic antagonist's plan to revitalize Red Ribbon Army with androids similar to his grandfather. All the while Piccolo raises someone else's kid as usual, Super Namekian Nanny is sent on errands by the parents who can't seem to raise their own kid and berates Gohan for not training. <laughs> To blow up the earth, and there's nothing you can do. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Piccolo then gets jumped by generic iRobot One and gets hands, gets tossed around. You could say, "Oh, he's not trying. He has his training gear on." Piccolo is just a green Vegeta. The only difference being Vegeta's beating gets more screen time than Piccolo's does. Blessed be Ozaru, King Vegeta is here to save the day, and he's gone. For Vegeta, it's showing up with his arms crossed. For Piccolo, it's throwing his weighted gear to the ground to get a mouthful of knee. But when Piccolo gets folded, I don't be paying attention. I don't be questioning why. It just happens. It's a given. It's like the sun coming up in the morning. You know it's gonna happen. But this time, we get a reason why. Because the androids in question he was fighting are on par with Goku and Vegeta. What? I ain't hate. What you say? Y'all remember this bum's comment? One Piece is literally the epitome of as strong as the plot requires. Hmm. You know, he may be right. I don't think Super has ever done that. I don't think Dragon Ball Z has ever done something like that. Oh man, I'm sorry. I have a bad case of sarcasm. Unfortunately, there's no cure, but there is a cure for stupidity. And it's just walking away, which I did when I heard nonsense like this. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't even think about me. Don't anyone ever in their life approach me with blasphemy that One Piece is the epitome of strong as the plot requires. I'm not saying that they've never done that, but when compared to Super, that's comparing someone who smokes regularly to a full-on crackhead. Get out of my face! Kind of like how Beerus is out of everybody's face because he's always damn sleeping. Lazy ass puss, wake that feline up. Didn't you learn anything from Super? How, how Super ended in a tournament of power? Your universe is trash because you let threats go around killing everything and you don't do shit about it. But I guess that doesn't matter. Nobody learns lessons in this show. Nobody gives a damn. There's no checks and balances. There's no states. You've got Dragon Balls. You've got Sensu Beans. You've got plot manipulation all over the place. So when there's no states and nothing damn matters, how can you expect anybody to care? Wow, 
wobble dee wobble dee wobble 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 after some covert sleuthing Piccolo had to do, which I felt that why can't he just hear everything like he can with his ears, but whatever. He tells Boma to call Goku and Vegeta to come back. But in order to do this, she has to go and call Whis. She can't contact Whis because of an ice cream bucket, which stays there for the entire movie. This damn thing makes noise and he can't hear it. What are you gonna say? The battle between Goku and Vegeta is so loud that Whis an angel being can't hear an indicator noise or is no one paying attention? But then there'd be no story. They pulled the same bullshit in Resurrection F, except now it's even worse. You have to have brain freeze to accept this happening over and over. How many times are you gonna resort to the same tired trope? So you can't get in contact with them. Piccolo goes to see Dende. Dende says, why don't you use the Dragon Balls? We could wish for the Red Ribbon Army to be wiped out. Oh, because of your pride. You're not gonna do it! The amount of times Z Fighters play Lucy Goosey with the entire planet's existence in this show is a damn shame. You don't wanna use the Dragon Balls to actually help anyone. Why do that? I want a BBL. Piccolo literally wishes himself to be stronger. Characters in this show easy button their way through adversity, hardship, and common sense. Oh, well, you should've just wished to bring Goku and Vegeta here. Oh, what? You didn't think of that because of the button at the time. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anymore. The only way somebody can enjoy Dragon Ball now is if you turn your damn brain off or you're a little kid. You'd have to be three years old like Pan in order to excuse these shenanigans. The bad guys want to lure Gohan there to the enemy stronghold, so Piccolo goes there undercover to get Pan, and he thinks she may not recognize me, so I'll have to tell her it's me. She didn't even need that. She could sense it was him without him removing his mask. You know who couldn't sense Piccolo? Gohan! You trash can! You're so fucking bad! A three-year-old is smarter than the entire cast of the show. Please leave or I'll call the police. Weak ass! We can only hope that Gohan awakens and regains his knack for battle. No training, no preparation, no understanding of anything. He Once he awakens, fuck it, you'll just get it back automatically. There you go, you don't need to practice or anything. It's just there with no regard for the law. How do you improve in so short a time? Or were you hiding this power before? The movie is shitting on itself. It doesn't understand what's going on. The villains are flabbergasted. Like, how's this happening? Where are you guys getting this power from? But don't worry, I'll protect you because your dad sure won't. Like father, like son, am I right? It doesn't matter what your name is! Piccolo is getting groped. He can't handle himself in the fight, even with this power up that he got, he's still trash until he falls down a ravine and comes out as a tangerine. Another form for me to hate, and I hate it for different reasons. Not because it should have been done already and Piccolo was overdue for a form. Not because you took one of the last remaining colors in the rainbow that hasn't been used as a form yet, literally brown is all that's left, let's not forget Black Frieza, but because you had to wish to get this. You would have gotten it eventually is what the movie is trying to tell us you were building up towards this but the fact that it was handed to you i don't give you points for teleporting 10 feet away from the finish line and beating it you didn't complete the entire race you were given a cheat code same as super saiyan god form i don't like how things are just given to people goku himself said he didn't like that it was just given to him and it wasn't something that he attained by his own physical merit this is the exact same thing but done even worse because it was a straight up wish and this scene right here my god this bozo little kid hiddo decides i want to be on the good side we're not good guys we're bad guys so he goes after the main antagonist guy and lets him suit up literally in front of him he pulls out a fucking coat rack he corrects his mistake by stopping this guy with some animatronic little bee that can sting the person and I guess it'll kill him but the guy starts tweaking like he's making a TikTok in the background and this idiot doesn't turn around turn around and see what he's doing 
Why is everyone so damn dumb in this movie? He activates their trump card, Cell Max. Nostalgia, Max. If there was any hyper interest I may have had in this, it was gone out the damn window because he's just a mindless buffoon. And he's mindless because of a bonding process isn't complete yet, cliche. Activate weapon 11. The bonding process isn't complete. Here comes mitochondria. Gohan, take a sensu beam. <laughs> You can't keep getting away with it! He can't keep getting away with it! Shit is exhausting, man. This is a chore. Boma, take care of Pan. Piccolo, take care of Pan. Goten, take care of Pan. Pan, take care of Pan. Anyone else? I sure as hell can't. The form I had lodged up my ass needs to be used. I have to break it in. How did he achieve this? He broke his limitations by being pushed emotionally. Emotional over Piccolo getting thrashed when Piccolo just gets up a few minutes later completely okay. Okay. This was done so poorly, so badly executed. It was just a callback from when he first turned Super Saiyan 2 against Cell. The only difference being he did that after Android 16 was killed. It was the result of seeing someone die in front of him. But he thought Piccolo was dead. It's the same thing. No, it's not. Stop it. The audience knows there's no emotional weight behind it because when he was spurred to transform the first time into his own ultimate form pan was okay he didn't know that was piccolo he thought she was in mortal danger and she wasn't we the audience can see that she's not in mortal danger so we feel nothing this show does nothing and he only has to go through this in the first place because of a fucking ice cream box that's just lazy writing go tim let's fuse let's try to help Fuse? Oh, I don't know how to do that. I forgot how to do that. Oh, God, I can't, man. I really can't. I had to pause this so many different times when I was watching. I was shaking my damn head. My head nearly fell off of my body. Was the Makan Kosapo cool? Yes, this looked incredible to look at. This was great. No, but I... At what does it even matter? Does Is it worth what I had to sit through just to see that? No. Does it change the score of this movie any higher? No, it does not. Oh, this toaster's dying? He sacrificed himself? He had to use up all his energy to do five damage? On Cell Max, on Nostalgia Max? Oh, poor baby, get the hell out of here. I could kill us. Am I supposed to be sad about this guy? Am I supposed to, no. Dr. Hido, I don't feel so good. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, I'm sorry. I'll use your ashes to put my blunt out. You're more useful in death than you were in life. Two out of ten sensu beans. Makita! <laughs>